then it allows them internally to save face. What you're doing is perhaps highlighting not just the shortcomings of that service, but of your potential customer. Give people something new to focus on. Explain how maybe it wasn't their fault because times are a changing. But I was right. Well, that means maybe you were wrong. You were wrong to assume that in being right and your customer being wrong, that some new relationship or dynamic would take place other than your customer now feels a little put out. Welcome to Security Weekly Marketing Thoughts with CTG Intelligence, your weekly look at marketing, PR, business development for your business and your career. Please hit that thumbs up so that people can see people are liking these videos and then maybe they'll explore more. It's tough, isn't it? As a security provider, you can see benefits of your product, solution, service, and you can see downsides of someone else's. But what are you going to do to persuade your customer to jump ship or to take a leap of faith? The natural reaction is to explain all of the negative points of their current solution. But what you're doing is perhaps highlighting not just the shortcomings of that service, but of your potential customer. If they're, you know, the owner of a company, maybe they can be reflective, do a bit of nasal navel gazing. <laughs> maybe they can say to themselves, you know what, you're right, I was wrong to choose this other service or product. But it, that's not likely. So what's less likely is someone further down the food chain as part of someone else's business, acknowledging that they have themselves been wrong, because that entails a whole host of problems for them. They need to explain to their management why they made a bad decision. They need to explain to themselves why they were not clued up on the subject enough. It happens to me even. I see that perhaps people are making a dubious event and outside of the realms of complete fraud and illegality, and I have been there to you know, alert people to that, there's very little you can or maybe should do. So what's the answer? I believe that by framing anything new as the chief reason for a change, you can help people save face and ultimately get a better product or service. And that hopefully will be yours. But as long as you present the changing threat landscape as something people should pay attention to, then it allows them internally, as I said, to save face, but also you're wooing them. You're not berating them because what customer wants to be berated? There, there is a sort of sales technique where you go and aggressively tell someone that they're wrong or whatever. And, I, I don't think that's ethical because in end effect, what you're trying to do is make them feel uncomfortable within their own skin. And then you're the only thing that can make them feel safe. And, and that's not ethical. I don't think I'd be even skilled enough to try that, let alone willing. And I don't think you're the type of person to do that either. So paint a new picture, explain that there are new threats and that perhaps the old threat landscape would of course suited that previous, albeit inappropriate, solution. Give them breathing space. Remember that they are human. And normally you're pretty good at that. If you're in the physical security space, you're people people. And in the cyberspace, I guess you're people people too, but I'm, I'm thinking of executive protection where one of your biggest attributes is learning how to read people. Well, nobody wants to be attacked to buy your product. They'll walk away. So there you go. Give people something new to focus on. Explain how maybe it wasn't their fault because times are a changing. 
and frame your product in a, in, in, in a much more positive light. And in a previous uh, episode, we did go over, don't think of a pink elephant. Because if you keep on saying product X is rubbish, you shouldn't use product X. Product X is this, product X is that. You're kind of going to make them think of product X. So be positive, be kind, and remember that you're talking to a human being who has hopes, fears, dreams, and doesn't want to lose face especially to buy your new product. Hit that thumbs up button below so more people can see that people are watching these videos because I know you are and I look forward to seeing you next week.